Hello everyone. Welcome to the next chapter of the React course. In this tutorial we will see how we can use use effect hook. This is one of the most important hooks inside React and it has many many usages and we will dig into in a very short second. All right. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel for the next videos as well. And let's begin. So I will open my editor right now. As you remember, we have the products here and also we are rendering the products list component there. And now inside the app body component, I want to show you how we can use the use state hook. So we can define it like use, uh, sorry, use effect hook. So here we can choose the use effect. We can start using it. It has the function, as you see, it has accepting effects and dependencies. We will take into the consideration for dependencies on the next lesson. So we are just keeping it empty right now and we just adding the console log use effect hook is worked nice so let's come up here I will open my console and you will see here the use effect hook is worked as you see I will refresh it is typing two times right now and now when you come up here and let's say we would like to as you remember we were deleting some of the products from the view that means re-rendering so what do you expect when I click the delete here so think on it a couple of seconds and uh, will it re-render the component Will it re-render the app body component? How will it affect with the use effect? So let's continue. Yes, when I click the delete button, as you see, it has marked here delete element one, which we were doing it here until the console log, and our use effect hook has been worked because we have re-rendered these elements. So let's remove another one. As you see, use effect hook is worked. So whenever this component has been re-rendered, when we don't have any dependency, this use effect hook will work one more time and it will show us the, uh, the console log use effect hook has worked we can access this products list for inside the use effect let me put it under the products here and we can say the console log products and what do you expect when i delete the product or when we start the application first let me clear and i'm refresh the application it printed out two times the products we have nine product here as you see nine of them is there and what happens when I click this button it will re-render use fact hook has worked and it will also show us the eight of them because we have just filtered out the first of it and whenever I press that delete button it just deletes one of the elements until there is no more as you see so in that sense I would like to create another state uh, we will do it with the set state and we will just create an input and we will change the value of this state into the input value so let's call it const input value set input value and we will use use state here 
and uh, we add, assign empty string. So here I would like to create an uh, h6 element and I would like to show input value here and I would like to create an input on change we will call set input value which we defined here and we will get the event event target value all right now we set input value is using the this input and this input has changed just the input value here so what happens what will happen when I update that input value it will here let me call it style also background color white yeah it's empty right now so it didn't make sense let me clear that style all right and now when I yeah type it here when I type something here as you see it is updating the h6 value there that blue thing pops up there means the component is re-rendered and every time I change that value as you see the use effect hook is worked here one two three four five and it just triggers the use effect hook every time I make a change inside that component so I think that's clear so far let me briefly explain it one more time we imported use effect from react when you just write it when you just if you don't have if you just write here use effect and uh, open parentheses and call the arrow function it should automatically import it in your ide as well as you see the use effect came up there and we just write console log use effect has worked all right very nice now let's clear last time whenever something changes inside that component as you see inside the app body it just re-renders sorry re runs the use effect one more time it is also true whenever this component re-rendered use effect will be run one more time if I remove this as you see use effect has worked and when I change something inside the component the use effect will work after the change and the re-render happens when we delete elements all of them all of them will trigger these use effect has worked so at the beginning of the video I told you this use effect is very useful thing and uh, for example if you think regarding to this input I have provided and if you want to show live search results from some API for example let's call it web tree when you call the web tree and you just want to fetch some values out of it you can just call it here console log I'm not actually calling the any API right now but I will show you later on and when you search for web tree you can just get that value input value and you can search with the API get the results and print it under below all right and this is the how we use the use effect with the, all the information we need right now 
I will go into the details of the dependencies on the next lesson and before we close please subscribe to my channel for the next videos and I wish you a happy day and a happy coding. Goodbye.